Seen lying on a bed of straw, drafty stable with an open door. Mary cradling the babe she bore, the Prince of Glory is his name. Oh, now carries into Bethlehem to see the Lord of love again. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Star of silver sweep across the skies, show where Jesus in the manger lies. Swiftly, swiftly from your stupor rise to see the Savior of the world. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord of love again. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Angels sing again the songs you sang. Sing the story of God's glorious plan. Sing how Bethlehem's little baby can be the savior of us all. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord of love again. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came. Riches from your poverty, from your innocence, eternity. Mine forgiveness by your death for me, child of sorrow for my joy. Oh, now carry me to Bethlehem to see the Lord of love again. Just as poor as was the stable then, the Prince of Glory when he came.
everybody here this morning, those joining us here in church, in the hall, and on the live stream. Just want to say a word of uh, one or two notices about our services, Christmas services coming up. Uh, on Wednesday, there will be a service on Zoom, the last in our series for the Advent, Art in Advent, and details of that are being circulated in Church Matters. And then we have uh, two services um, coming up here in church on Christmas Eve at four o'clock. There will be a Christmas Eve communion service and on Christmas Day, a service at 11 a.m. Please book ahead if you'd like to come because I do know there are only a few seats left. But today is the fourth Sunday in Advent and we're holding our carol service with readings, prayers, and of course, carols. Here in church, the singing will be led by our music group today. If you wish, you can hum along, but please, um, no singing is allowed uh, from everyone else. But of course, if you're watching this at home, you can sing along at the top of your voices. At the end of the service, there will be an opportunity for everyone here to join in some singing outside. So if you'd like to stay for that, we'll go outside onto the uh, lawn at the front and sing a few carols there. We'll need to make sure we stay socially distanced, both as we walk out and once while we're singing, and the stewards will help and guide you with this. The exits that you can use to go outside are either the usual one or the uh, fire door here, but be aware there are some steps down as you go out of this door. And now the rest of the service will proceed, mainly unannounced, we hope. <laughs> and let's pause for a moment as we gather ourselves for worship. Come, Lord, among us. Dispel the clouds and reveal your glory to us. Come, refresh, renew and restore us. May your light shine. Amen. Now we hear the first reading. The reading is taken from Isaiah chapter 9. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of the shadow of death, a light has dawned. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace.
Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. Month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favour with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be unable to conceive is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. With Mary we pray, let it be with us according to your word, for nothing will be impossible with God. We light these candles for hope. For peace. In joy. and with love. God of hope, God of peace, God of joy, God of love. You are love, and those who abide in love abide in you. Teach us how to love one another as reflections of your light in the world. God of promise, God of love, into our darkness come.
Let us pray. Lord Jesus, light of the world, overcoming the darkness of fear and doubt, of disappointment and distress. As we prepare to celebrate your birth, make us alert to the signs of your coming and fill us with your hope and your peace. Lord, it isn't easy holding on to your promises in these times of anxiety and frustration. We confess our neglect of you and our selfish thoughts and actions. Forgive us, Lord, and help us to make amends. Amen. And now we join in praying the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. joy that angels sing. Alleluia. Tender mercy he has shown us, joy to all the world. For us God sends his only Son. Shadows fly away. Alleluia. In Christ has dawned an endless day. Alleluia. Tender mercy he has shown us. Joy to all the world. For us God sends his only Son. Hallelujah. Now God with us on earth resides. Hallelujah. And heaven's door is open wide. Hallelujah. Tender mercy He has shown us. Joy to all the world, for us God sends his only Son. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20, the birth of Jesus. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria. And everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, 
the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room available to them. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they'd heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is the word of the Lord. share a jubilation there's a new king born today see the shepherds hurry down to bethlehem gaze in wonder at the son of god who jubilation there's a new king born today wise men journey led to worship by a star kneel in homage bring the precious from lands of far so come and join the celebration it's a very special day come and share a jubilation there's a new king born today God is with us Round the world the message bring He is with us Welcome all the bound on earth And for the celebration It's a very special day Come and share a jubilation There's a new king born today There's a new king born today John chapter 1, verses 1 to 5 and verse 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. 
we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. Our God contracted to a span, incomprehensibly made man. We've just sung these words, and I love the poetry and the mystery of the words, written by Charles Wesley. That God, the maker and sustainer of the universe, should choose to become a human being to live on this earth as we do. It is incomprehensible how this could happen. And yet, we believe that it did. One dark night, in a sleepy corner in Palestine, God chose that moment. And a baby was born, who would grow up to change the world, not by force, not by coercion, not by wealth or power, but by another way, a much riskier way, the way of humble, self-giving, amazing love. And every Christmas as we hear this story again, the story of the Nativity draws us in and it's retold every year. And there's always a new and fresh appeal to this old and familiar story. Those of you who were here last week would have witnessed our young people giving us their wonderful take on the nativity in a very contemporary version. Corona nativity, I think they called it. And those who were able to see it saw that there were angels on Zoom, shepherds socially distanced, kings delayed because they had to self-isolate. 
it made us laugh, made us laugh so much. And how we do need a bit of laughter at the moment. But it also got right to the heart of the Christmas story. Because the young people showed us that this story is about our lives here and now. God comes to us in the here and now. It's not just about an arrival that happened way in the distant past, but God is born into the mess and frustration of the world we know. And because God became human, God understands our anxieties, our disappointments, our frustrations, our losses. And God can give us the courage to look beyond the confines of our lives to the needs and longings of everyone, of those around us and those further afield. And with God, we can dare to believe that it can be different. There have been signs of hope, but in these last few days when so much has changed and new restrictions have come, there's also been a lot of anguish. But yesterday I was going round and making up some doorstep visits, socially distanced, visiting some of the folk who were perhaps the, some of the most isolated. And some of those had received their vaccines, the first dose that is. And that for them was bringing them a great sense of hope as it will to others as that program is rolled along. But we also know that for so many people there is anxiety, illness, stress and also frustration. God comes to us into all of that and raises our eyes beyond all of that. God so loved the world, the cosmos, that he gave his only son. God raises our eyes to the wider horizon of God's kingdom, of justice, of peace, and of love. In the next familiar carol that we'll be hearing, we'll hear this line. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. This is our God in Christ. This is the one that we remember and celebrate. The one who meets us where we are and shows us who we can become. Renewed, restored, forgiven and the one who gives us fresh hope because God is with us and loves us to the very end. And so we will hear, O little town of Bethlehem.
Let us pray. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O oh, come to us, abide with us, our Lord Emmanuel. Lord, you came upon us as Prince of Peace. We pray for places where there is no peace. Especially we pray for Bethlehem and the Holy Lands, for all those living in danger and those with heavy hearts this day. Bring your peace. Lord, you came among us as a sign of hope we pray for those who find hope hard to hold on to. Those whose plans to see their families have been dashed. Those with livelihoods under threat. Those who worry if they will have enough food and warmth this Christmas. those who are left out, left behind. Bring your hope. Lord, you came among us as light. And we pray for wisdom for our political leaders and all who have power. For those who have difficult decisions to make about COVID safety. For those engaged in trade negotiations with the European Union. For those under pressure in their work, in health and social care. Lord, Bring your light. Lord, you came to bring healing and wholeness. We pray for those who are ill and those who are grieving. 
We pray for those who are especially missing a dear one at this time. We pray for those who wait anxiously for news about someone in hospital. For those unable to visit their loved ones. For those who are awaiting treatment and are due to go into hospital. For all who feel anxious or lonely this Christmas. Lord, bring your comfort and your love. Whatever lies ahead, may we hear the echo of the angel's song and help others to hear it too. We ask these prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, Emmanuel, God with us. Amen.
Thank you so much to the uh, musicians today for leading us in this carol service, which has been like no other that we've ever, exper that we've ever experienced with not being able to all sing together, those in church today. But the good news is that this will be on YouTube as well, so those in church who haven't been able to sing yet um, can both join in a bit of singing after this service and go home and watch it on YouTube and join in again. But many thanks to the uh, musicians today. Our next service on YouTube will be on the 10th of January. There'll be various services in church in between this date and that one. Our ways of celebrating Christmas have had to change this year. There's been so much disruption and change. But the message of Christmas remains one of hope and love. And so I wish you all a very happy Christmas. God is with you, a light to your path, a companion on the road, a friend for your journey, a sure support and presence at all times, and the blessing of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this Christmas time and always. Amen.